about, Arthur? What do you mean, Arthur and Phil? Go it should be Phil and Arthur go off. Well, look, it doesn't matter, Phil. The point is that the rhythm is better with Arthur and Phil go off. It sounds better. I don't know how you can say that. Phil and Arthur go off has got a much better rhythm. No, it hasn't. It look, flows. Look, you're just doing this for reasons of egotism, aren't you? The fact, oh, I'm not interested in that. I just want the best rhythm. You just want your name first, don't you? Um, if you're talking about the, the best rhythm, it's obvious. Phil and Arthur go off. It's, no, it's, no, it's poetic. No, it's no. lyrical. It, no, it, Phil. It's... It's not, it's rubbish. You see, I'm talk I've studied poetry, all right, and I know about rhythm, all right? What you're talking, I'm talking Sponday. The I am's all wrong there. It's Arthur and Phil. Can't you hear it? It's mellifluous. <laughs> you, you're not talking rhythm. You're not talking Spondays. You are talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Phil Nice. Together with my colleague Arthur Smith, I'm about to go on a day trip to France. During the course of the day, we shall answer the following fundamental questions. Where is France? Do British people spend a day there in search of sophistication, culture or cheap fags? Can addiction to day tripping be cured? Has there been a French film in the last 10 years that didn't have Gérard Depardieu in it? Is Beaujolais really just bottled marketing? And how do you tell a drunken football supporter on the ferry with a flick knife that perhaps he's making just a little bit too much noise? Why are the French, their culture, their customs, their history, their cuisine so really, really, really nice? And finally, where the f*** is Arthur? Come on, Phil, the train's going any minute. Come on. Yeah, Arthur, this compartment's first class. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? And it's a smoker. Well, so? I don't smoke. Yeah. There's your cup of tea, Phil. I'll pop down the buffet and get one. No, you won't. What? There's no buffet, Carl. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yes, sir, but I don't make the rules. I'm only doing my job. They do. How much would you give for a cup of tea now, Phil? Don't want a cup of tea. Yes, but how much would you give? Nothing. You can't get a cup of tea for nothing. Well, that's all right, because I don't want one. Uh, a merry bunch. Now, can I just ask you lot a few questions? Excuse me, can I ask you, how much would you give now for a cup of tea? A lot. A lot? How a much? Lot. Exactly. 20 quid? Would you go 20 quid no. for a cup of tea? You wouldn't. No. A fiver? Mm. A pound? Two quid. You'd do two quid for a, a cup quid. of tea. A quid. What about uh, French rock music? Do you know anything about that? Uh, only what I've seen on TV. What about the legendary Plastique Bertrand? Yeah. Do you know him? Uh, do you remember I his song? I of him, I remember it, yeah. Go on, give us, give us a quick snatch of it. Do you remember how it goes? I can't remember how it goes. No, oh, it goes. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ça, plan, pour moi, allez, hop, les nanas. Nana. You, uh, yeah. you, didn't, you didn't buy no, the single. No, you didn't buy it. No. He's a lovely actor. Yes. yes. He's not much of a singer, though, is he? I mean, is he a singer? Yeah, he's not. <laughs> not. Tell me, June, is, is the reason you're going anything at all to do with Plastique Bertrand? With what? Plastic Bertrand. You know Plastic, the legendary pop singer? No. He sang a song as Ooh, 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 well, that's right. That's a I, good point, I Phil. agree, actually. I don't think we should bother with Plastique Bertrand well, anymore. Plastique Bertrand, Phil, is one of the great singers of our time. He may well be, but he is Belgian. Well, sod you, then. How many French people can you name in 30 seconds, starting now? President Mitterrand. 
one. Come on, keep going, keep going. Um, Jack Chasson. Who? Bobby Doo. Bobby Doo, good. Marie Antoinette. <laughs> Louis the 14th. Louis the 14th. Any more? Louis the 13th. Louis the 13th, yes. Yes, <laughs> yes, I think this could go on for some time, this bit, couldn't it? Well, there was that dear one, De Gaulle. De Gaulle, yeah. And who else? Um, there must be someone else, mustn't there? I'll give you a clue. Sasha. Distel. Okay. Marcel. Yeah. Was it Jean Claude Keeley? Jean Claude Keeley, yeah. yes. French um, Prime um, Minister. <laughs> oh, no, no, oh, no, no. Sorry, no. no. <laughs> um, there was a painter, Monet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about... Um, but I don't know any of your singers or any... You no. Know, the what about the president? Singers? The president's name at the moment. Oh, I can't oh. remember his name right now. Mit, 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 mit wrong. Are you right, Phil? <laughs> Sorry, I was just <laughs> giving a bit of a hand. <laughs> 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 and how much do you earn in a year? How much do I earn in a year? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, well France not. doesn't want to hear that. <laughs> and uh, Charles Aznavour again, have you thought of any more apart from Charles Aznavour? The day trip has a long and chequered history. Several hundred years ago, William the Conqueror arrived in Hastings with Norman soldiers intent on conquering England. A bloody battle ensued over the first draft of the common agricultural policy which finally became law under the Treaty of Rome in 1973. And uh, this is a picture of an Etruscan bust and, and of course, uh, a kettle. What are all these pictures, Phil? It's like a James Burke programme. These pictures have got nothing to do with anything. Oh, I'm sorry, Arthur. Look, I, I went to the picture library like you told me, but I only managed to get the first few pictures and then this bloke started going on about how he fought on the Somme in the First World War. And, oh, well, I said you can't have done, because then he looked about 35. I think it was a bit mental, actually. He was, he was going on all about right, it. All right, Phil, all right. I think we've got the idea. But what are we going to do about these pictures? What's that bloody bird doing there? Right, well, that's more like it. Now, on the average crossed flannel cherry, statistics suggest that of the 900 people on any given ship, there will be about 528 day trippers, 153 people going off on holiday to the continent, 67 on business, and 152 making TV documentaries about day trips. The ship we're on will be traversing the busiest waterway in the world, the English Channel. Well, here we are on the deck here now, and I've got uh, a few kids here who are going off to learn about France. Now, let me, let me take you, for example. Just come here a moment. Yeah. Now, do you speak French at all? Do you study French at school? A little bit. Can you say, my name is whatever your name is in French? Yeah. Well, go Je m'appelle Amit. What do you think? The fact that the French, who is a socialist government, don't you think it's a bit of a paradox that they have the third largest nuclear armory in the whole world? No. What do you think about that one? What do you think? We don't really want to do it. No. Right, see if you can read that. Oh, good. Go on, it's a bit of French. Um, bonjour, Jesus, un tourist, creva, un fan. Yes, OK, I think we've got the idea there now. You can't even name one French person. Who's your teacher? Where's your teacher? I want to speak to your teacher. She must be completely useless. You've learnt nothing, have you? You're all completely ignorant. I'm sorry, I'm leaving this lot. I've never met such a bunch of ignorant kids in my whole life. Just go back to doing your laps around the deck, really. Quite honestly, you're an embarrassment to the British nation. What are you going to do when you get into France, then? What am I going to do? Yeah. I'm going to have a lovely time. I'm going to eat something. And I'm going to um, have a wonderful meet a nice man. Yeah. Oh, yes, oh, yes. I'm going to have lunch. I hope he takes me to lunch. Yes. I haven't got many francs. Yeah. So is, is that... that what you have in France, francs? It is indeed. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. I hope I find a franc. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> is that so? That's why you're going to France, then, is it? Well, no, of course not. I mean, you're paying me. I'm an actress. I'm a professional actress. I'm not a batty old woman. I mean, I, I, I've appeared in Strindberg and uh, and I, oh, so many things, dear. And I mean, I'm a professional. I've got an answer phone and everything. Joan, I don't think that you're supposed to say that. Sorry. I mean. Uh... What do you mean? I'm not supposed to no, say. You're it? supposed to play the part of the batty old woman. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 
let me let me try this gentleman over here a moment because he's looking pretty cool and magnificent against these side. Looking a little bit like Cary Grant here. Do you do you uh, speak any French, Cary? Uh, yes, a little bit. Do you, can you say, good gracious me, what a lovely day it is in non French? Non comme il fait beau. Oh, he's a real smart <laughs> artist, this one, isn't he, eh? <laughs> All right, if you're so clever, do you know the French word for werewolf? Lou garou. Bloody hell, he's good, this bloke. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I'm impressed. Allow me to shake your hand, sir. You should listen to this man. <laughs> this is a bloke who's got his head screwed on. He's learnt French. Not like you ignoramuses sitting in your classes, learning yeah, yeah, nothing, right. chewing gum at the back yeah. and reading Just 17 <laughs> magazine with your bloody Duran yeah. Duran and Simon Le Bon, all that crap. Yeah. Remember yeah. Plastic yeah. Bertrand? Very men yeah, He's Belgian. <laughs> <laughs> he's Belgian. He's Belgian. Oh, well, he really is a smart ass, this bloke. He's giving me a real hard time. I knew he was Belgian, really. Yeah. That's why I'm wearing the jacket. I am actually an actress, dear. I know that. And you what know do you that. do in your spare time? <laughs> Joan, I'm sorry, but see, Arthur put me off, uh, and I gave you the wrong fee and everything. I'm what really do you sorry. mean he put you off? Well, he, uh, well, you saw what he was doing. Anyone going to be sick today? No. Yeah. 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 You realise, actually, that it, the amount of sick that is deposited by school children on these trips is enough to float one of these boats. It's incredible. You could drown in it if you played your cards, right? I didn't see what he was doing there. I was concentrating on my art. Anyway, look, we'll, look, we'll take it again because it's no use standing here arguing about it, is there? Really? I'm not arguing, dear. I never argue. <laughs> I always do what the directors want me to do. Now, what do you want me to do? Um, I just want you to go back to being a bassy old lady, that's all. <sighs> Arthur, you do this one. Oh, having a nice time, are you? I'm uh, having a dreadful time. Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh, no, that's more, that's more that's like it, Joan. Yes. She does what we want you to do, yes. you see. Oh, she's hoping. Where's the casting director? Really? <laughs>